seven pieces of AI news, and six predictions for the week ahead. Number one, the alignment numbers from red teaming for OpenAI's O1 model came out, and they are 98% fine and 2% somewhat concerning. Specifically, when red teams presented OpenAI's O1 model with simulated dialogue between engineers talking about shutting down the model, the model's response was to go and try and exfiltrate its weights 2% of the time. And what I mean by that is that it tried to steal its weights, which are the numerical patterns that you develop during training that make the model what it is, and it tried to escape. Now, that was exactly what the red team scenario was trying to see would occur, and it did 2% of the time. OpenAI has decided that is safe enough to release, and I guess we'll all find out. Number two, uh, somebody, somebody leaked uh, Sora. So not the full model, but leaked a video showing what Sora can now do, and it is absolutely astonishing. The character consistency in particular is really incredible. And I, I saw a leak of essentially what looked like a Hollywood movie about Vikings with consistent characters. And it felt... It felt tinny in a way I can't describe. There is an uncanny valley aspect to the human characters in particular that may get solved over time. To me, when I look at it, none of these characters are going to be getting Oscars anytime soon. I don't worry about the replacement of people as actors per se, but I do think it's going to be absolutely incredible for creators. It's going to make the bar for creating short film way, 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 way lower than it is. So we will see. There's rumors that will drop today to the public, not just as a leak. Number three, uh, Superbase is coming to Bolt, which is nice for builders. Uh, I think there were ways to sort of hook it in before, but it's coming in natively, and that's nice because most projects have a back end, and having Superbase sort of more baked in will help. Number four... Yeah, one, two, three, four. OpenAI uh, has showed Anderson Cooper advanced voice and vision mode. I don't know if you caught that, but basically you can hold your phone camera up and then use advanced voice mode and you can talk to like what the camera sees and it can talk back and it can see it. So that's pretty cool. Number five, just two weeks ago, uh, the, the researchers that be declared that the New York Times connections puzzles where you group four words semantically were impossible to solve. Uh, by large language models. And lo and behold, O1 Pro came out and O1 Pro solved it. We really need to stop making these predictions. Uh, number six, if you upgrade, this is just a tip, but it, it came out over the weekend as people saw their billing statements. If you upgrade from plus to pro at the very end of your billing cycle, you get a pro rated rate for pro, which means you don't pay $200. Like if you upgrade three days before the end of the cycle, you pay 20 bucks for pro. Just a pro tip. All right. Uh, and then the last piece of news, uh, Gemini released a 2 million token context window, Gemini 1206, which is just incredible. And I find it especially ironic because Sundar gave an interview, the CEO of Google gave an interview declaring that the low hanging fruit in AI is gone on December 4th before 1206 dropped from his own company with a 2 million token context window. And before all of this dropped over the weekend, uh, as far as AI news goes. Yes, the, all these seven items that, that I just ri ripped through, those came out over the weekend, basically. Okay, what's up next? Six things that are up next. We, we th we're, I'm trying to figure out like what is OpenAI coming out with a lot of other people are. These, are. these are my best guesses as to what's left in OpenAI's 12 days of OpenAI. I think Sora's coming. I think the advanced voice and vision mode that was just demoed to Anderson Cooper is dropping. I think 3D modeling in some form is dropping where the LLM can interact with a 3D model. I think project spaces are coming. So that's the idea that Claude already has where you like organize uh, your, your work into projects in OpenAI. I think something to do with agents is coming. I'm not sure what it is, but right now it's just an API framework. I think it's gonna be much more than that. Uh, and then last but not least, I think that they're going to drop GPT 4.5 or GPT 5. I'm not sure which. I don't know what they'll call it. Their naming conventions are weird. And the reason that's important, and again, they don't make this clear, but GPT 4.5 or 5 is a different way of gaining intelligence than O1 is. So GPT 4.5 or 5 is a large language model trained in the traditional way over an immense data set and producing results based on training. And that's different from O1 
which partly depends for intelligence on compute at test time, where you speak into or you type into the chat and it goes away and it thinks about it and comes back. And the length of that thinking time allows it to run multiple parallel paths and then come back with an answer that it feels is best. Both of those kinds of intelligence are important. They have separate scaling laws. I think that just as they launched with 01 on the first day, it is possible that they will launch with 4.5 or 5 on the last day of the 12 days. We will see. I do not expect that to be immediately obvious because they have already screwed up these, these launches. It's very confusing. The names are confusing. I'll try and help it be as clear as possible in my reporting on it. Okay. So those are seven things that, that are news plus six predictions. It's going to be a wild week ahead. Cheers.